11.4, we're going to be using integration to solve variable acceleration problems. Hit pause, make some notes. When you're ready, hit play, and we'll look at an example. Okay, so we've got our diagram back, and we can move from displacement to velocity by differentiating with respect to t, and velocity to acceleration by differentiating again. If we want to go the other way, acceleration to velocity, then we do the reverse of differentiation, which is integration. And if we want to find displacement, we integrate the second time. So let's have a look at this example then. <clears throat> We've got a particle here moving on the x-axis. At time t equals naught, particle is at a point where x equals 5. So when time is naught, displacement is already 5. So we've got to be careful with that. Velocity of the particle is given by 6t minus t squared. And we're told that uh, time is always positive. Okay. So find an expression for the displacement from O at time t seconds. Okay. So let's look at what we've got. Solve part A. Um, velocity V is equal to 6t minus t squared. So displacement then is going to be the integral of velocity with respect to t, which is equal to the integral of 6t minus t squared. Put it in brackets because with respect to t applies to both terms and we integrate it term by term then add 1 to the power so we get 6 over 2 t squared minus a third t cubed and don't forget our constant <clears throat> simplifying we've got x is equal to 3 t squared minus a third t cubed plus c now I want to find out what c is, this constant. I'm, I'm told that when time t equals naught, displacement x equals 5. So I sub those in. That means 5 is equal to 3 times 0 squared minus a third 0 cubed plus c. Which means since those two terms are 0, c is equal to 5. So I can write my displacement x is equal to 3t squared <clears throat> minus a third t cubed plus 5. So we do that's part A sorted. For part B, we want to find a distance from its starting point when t equals 6. So we've got a formula for displacement, which we just, we just calculated. x is equal to 3t squared minus a third t cubed plus 5. If I sub, let's see, when t equals 6, x is equal to 3 times 6 squared minus a third of 6 cubed plus 5. Pop that in my calculator and it tells me that x is equal to 41. So the displacement um, when t equals 6 is 41. However, we know that the particle was, it was displaced by 5 when t equals 0. So the distance from the starting point is going to be 41. Take away that 5, which leaves me with 36. So hit pause, make some notes. When you're ready, hit play again. And we'll look at another example. Okay, in this example, we've got a particle traveling in a straight line. After t seconds, the velocity is given by 5 minus 3 t squared. And t is greater than or equal to 0. So the question wants us to find the distance traveled in the third second of motion. So in the third second of motion. Now, if we think about that, in the first second, it travels between naught and 1. Oops. So in the first second, it travels between 0 seconds and 1 second. In the second second of motion, it travels between 1 and 2 seconds. And the third second of motion, which is what we're looking for, the particle is going to travel between 2 and 3 seconds. 
So we want to find the displacement between second two and second three. What would be helpful would be a sketch of what, uh, what the graph looks like of five minus three t squared. So it's a sad quadratic and between two and three seconds, we can see its displacement there. So that's what we're gonna try and find. Now we're given that uh, V, the velocity, is equal to five minus three t squared. So the displacement x is gonna be the integral of velocity with respect to t. Now, because we want to find the displacement in this, uh, between the second and third seconds, we're gonna integrate between two and three. So definite integration between seconds two and second three. Now, V is given by five minus three t squared, so in brackets, with respect to t. <clears throat> and if we integrate that term by term, we get 5t, oops, hang on, don't forget the uh, definite integral. So that's going to give us 5t minus, if we add 1 to the power and divide by 3, it's going to leave us with t cubed with, uh, from 2 to 3. So now we sub in our numbers. So x is going to be equal to 5 times 3 minus 3 cubed minus 5 times 2 minus 2 cubed which leaves us with 15 minus 27 minus 10 plus 8 and if we work that out I'm going to come up here 15 minus 27 leaves us with 12 12 minus 10 minus 22 plus 8 so it leaves us with minus 14 so x is equal to minus 14 so its displacement <coughs> is negative but we haven't been asked to find the displacement we've been asked to find the distance traveled and the distance traveled is positive so x is given by 14 meters. Hit pause, make some notes. When you're ready, hit play. And I've got some exercises for you. Okay, and you need to uh, work through exercise 11D. Now we've got 12 questions there. So good luck.